I was not alive anymore as of a case, I meant. Congratulations, Mrs. Ava Valentino, one of the businessmen and a friend of my dad, Peter Setting, wished me I was Mrs. Ava Valentino as soon as I walked down the aisle to Mary Ace. Thank you, I said with a smile. It was our reception party now. This was going to be a tiring night because it's midnight almost, yet the party just started. When I went to dad and said I was going to marry Ace, he was almost jumping in happiness. He didn't even bother to ask why I changed my mind. However, I told him that Simon loved someone else. Dad has arranged everything within a short span of time. It all happened so fast. I got married to Ace in the church, and surprisingly, no one even cared about Simon. Ace really had an influence over everyone. During the wedding, Ace just gave a peck on my lips to avoid creating doubts in the mind of thousands of people watching us. The paparazzi went crazy seeing Ace and I. They thought I changed my mind at the last moment because I realized my utter love for Ace. According to the paparazzi, Ace and I were always in a secret relationship. Each time we hung out, they would create articles about us. Now we were back to the case mansion because this was where the reception was organized. I changed into a different dress and off-shoulder applique gown with an overskirt for the reception. However, after the wedding, I still didn't get some time to talk to my husband. Husband it sounded so weird. Who would have thought I would be married to Ace and call him my husband one day? I kept acting that I was listening to Mr. and Mrs. Setting's words because I had to show respect as taught by dad. Whether I liked someone or not, I was supposed to show I was genuinely interested in their conversation. I got off from my trance when my eyes landed on Ace, who was talking to one of the business associates. He had a blank look on his face, but I knew what was happening there. Since Ace was one of the top businessmen and won the Businessman of the Year award, as usual, people would die to make a deal with him. Ace felt the need to get out of there, but that man wasn't letting him go. Excuse me, I said to Mr. and Mrs. Setting, enjoy the party. With that, I walked to Ace. When I reached him, I snaked an arm over his arm and smiled at the man. If you don't mind please excuse us, I need to talk to my husband, I said politely. The man gave a tight-lipped smile and nodded. I started walking with Ace, who was quiet and kept looking at me. If you are thinking how I knew you needed a rescuer, then let me tell you. I stopped walking and stood in front of him. With a grin on my face, I said, that's the benefit of having your best friend as your wife. I know you too well to even study your blank expressions. Ace arched an eyebrow in amusement. Now are you going to give me the benefit of having your best friend as your wife lectures every day? I nodded my head. Of course, I need to give you enough reasons so that you don't regret marrying me, I mumbled, almost in an inaudible tone. Thanks for the safe though, he said with a sigh. That man was telling me how good the quality of his clothes was, just because I ran a fashion industry didn't mean I sewed clothes, I have people to find the best quality cloth. I burst into laughter hearing him. There was this one time, a person brought one of his animals just to make us feel how soft its fur was, all of this effort was because my father was a leather businessman. Like seriously, oh my god, he murmured a shock and ended up laughing like me. There are really a bunch of crazy people we face often. I know, right? I stopped laughing when something got into my mind. Did you tell your family about this yet? All I knew was Ace's family really loved me a lot. We met plenty of times, but still, I was scared of their reaction. Earlier, they only saw me as a close friend of Ace, but now, I was a Valentino like them. I did tell mom and grandpa, he replied curtly. Did you tell them everything? I asked in fear. If he told everything, they would hate me for entangling their Ace with me. Sensing my fear, Ace squeezed my hand. I didn't tell them the entire story. I just told them what the paparazzi thought. You realize you couldn't love anyone else but me and we were secretly dating for a long time, he informed me. I heaved a sigh in relief. Thank God. I tried to remove my hand from Ace's hold, but he held my hand tightly, much to my shock. I glanced at him, only to find him looking at my engagement ring with a frown. 
Truth to be told, I still hate this rain. He has no taste, he mumbled, making me chuckle. Wait a minute, why are you still wearing this ring? I furrowed my brows in confusion. Was I supposed to remove it? Of course. You didn't get married to Simon, did you? He pointed out. But you made me wear the wedding ring which was brought by Simon, I uttered. He let out a humorless chuckle. Look at your wedding ring versus your engagement ring. Do you think Simon can choose this emerald cut sapphire and pearl shaped diamond as your wedding ring? I looked at the wedding ring of mine intently. Ace was right. Simon would never have such a great choice, that too in jewelry. A gasp escaped my lips as realization hit me. Did you choose my wedding ring? Yes, he responded, not meeting my gaze. Why, I couldn't let the wife of Ace Valentino wear such a cheap designed ring. Now you are my wife, Ava, he breathed out, making my heart beat fast. He leaned in closer to me and whispered, take off this engagement ring now. I will buy you a new one later on, okay, I managed to say and backed away a little from him. All of a sudden, a question got into my mind. Ace, where is Simon? I didn't see him anywhere. I thought he would create a drama or something. Ace twitched his lips and snarked. No one messes up my wedding. Ace, what did you do to Simon? I asked, feeling a sudden fear tugged in my heart. I kidnapped him, 